Okay, so. John, and I don't know what he's going to talk. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm John Boyle. I grew up in Palo Alto, um, and that's where I currently live. And I work, uh, unfortunately, I do C++ uh, for a living. Um, but I make a little bit of use of Lisp at work, um, generally to do any parsing of log lines and computations that are more complicated than grep can handle. Um, so uh, uh, this is much uh, smaller scale than uh, many of the other talks, but um, at one point, uh, um, so uh, it is a fact that you can take a regular expression and um, at least one of the regular language regular expressions, not the Perl regexes, um, and produce a state machine um, which reads characters one at a time and um, and uh, will uh, determine whether there's a match. Um, so, uh, I'm, as a quick question, uh, are you all familiar with uh, this syntax for regular expressions? Um, uh, okay, uh, so it's on the right, um, this. Um, so in, in case you don't know, uh, this would be a string that has the character A followed by um, any number of any character, followed by the character B, followed by zero or more of the character C, followed by the character D. Uh, what? False star. Yeah. Um, so let's see. So um, the question is, how would you? Uh, how would you, uh, what would the state machine look like? And uh, then how do you generate such a state machine? The goal would eventually be to um, take a string uh, that represents a regular expression and generate an assembly program um, that will be maximally efficient uh, at searching a string. Um, I, so, uh, so when you read, a, uh, so let's number the characters in it. Um, a is character zero, um, the dot is character one, um, the star is a modifier, um, B is, we'll call character two, C is character three, and D is character four. So initially, um, you're trying to match uh, the first character. I'm going to call that um, state zero. Um, so uh, if, you, uh, if you read a character that isn't A, um, then uh, you'll try to match the next character in the string. Um, so I guess uh, sometimes regular expressions are defined as trying to match the entire string. Um, but uh, let's say uh, we're trying to search for an occurrence of this regular expression anywhere in a given string. This would also be equivalent to having dot star at the start and dot star at the end. Um, so if we read a character that's not A, then we go back to state zero, where we're trying to match uh, from the start of the string. Um, if we read an A, then uh, the next character, um, as we read the next character, uh, we could be starting a new match, um, or uh, we could be trying to match uh, one or more of the dots or we could be trying to match um, from the character B. Um, so if, for example, uh, if we were searching within this string, um, as we parse character A, uh, we go from, so I'm going to call the next state, um, uh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to call the next state 0, 1, 2. Um, that means we could be matching from either the A, uh, the dot, or the B. Um, and then from 0, 1, 2, um, if we, the interesting characters are A, B, and neither A nor B. Um, so if we get an A, then, um, then we would, uh, um, I, that A could either match with the 0, the A, or the 1, the dot, um, but it could not match with the 2, the B. Um, and, uh, so that would basically bring us again to 0, 1, 2. Um, if we read a B, the B could be either the 1, um, 
the dot, or it could be the B that's at location two. Um, and we could also be starting a new match, so that would become 0, 1, 3. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, um, so what I did was uh, I basically manually computed the state machine uh, for a couple of example strings. Um, this a dot star b c star d uh, and another one. Um, and so uh, I represented all the state transitions. Um, first, I started with just matching uh, at all. Um, but then, usually when you're searching within a string, you want to know where within the string um, the pattern you're looking for has occurred. Um, and so uh, I defined a new version of a state machine where um, you keep track of, for each of the matches you're looking at, um, uh, like if we're uh, matching from the B onwards, we record where uh, the match started. So that if it eventually completes, um, then we return the end character and uh, the character we've saved where it started. Um, so then, uh, um, so they're keeping track of those things um, that's encoded there. Uh, there also is a bit of a decision between uh, if you want to take the longest match or just the first match, um, a bit of logical change. But so. I manually computed some state machines, um, gave them a formal uh, syntax in this way, and uh, used Lisp um, arc specifically to write an interpreter for such a machine. Um, and uh, I wrote that, and it worked. Um, and uh, I sat on it for a couple of weeks, and then implemented another function that would take um, a string and generate a state machine, um, which I could then. Uh, which I could then interpret as well. I didn't go as far as generating assembly. Um, that will be a uh, probably some one of the things that I hope to do eventually. We'll see how high priority it is. But um, I will give an example of uh, uh, so um, st is uh, that example string. Um, uh, this function has generated a state machine, um, which is represented with a bunch of hash tables, but um, uh, it gets printed out like this, which is relatively more readable. It says, um, in state 0, if you read a character A, then, um, let's see, then you go to these states, and the starting points you keep track of uh, are kept track of in that way. If you read a character that's not A, then you go back to state 0, um, and so on. Um, so you don't need a stack for this? Right, because okay. you, you have to big states, right? So, so this is yeah. similar to like the early parsers, if you know about those. Um, you know about uh, the early parsers? Uh, I'm not sure. It does the same, similar thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, LR parser. Yeah, yeah. So in this, uh, the the entire state is captured in uh, which of a certain finite list of states you're in, plus a list of integers of which there can be at most a certain number, representing the starts of the matches, and uh, the number of different states. Um, if, if the regex has length n, it's conceivable that the number of different states would be up to 2 to the n, uh, maybe 2 to the n over 2, if everything is like dot star, dot star. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's it.